side buster, huh? I thought I smelled peas. Hi guys, so as you may have guessed by the title, today we are talking sodbusters. Now, as you can see by the definition that I put up a while ago, a sodbuster uh, is a term that came about in, uh, I believe it was the late 1800s, and it came about to describe people who worked the land, you know, farmers, people who turned up the soil. People who worked uh, as ranchers, farmers, and they turned up the soil, just like you can see in the depiction right here in this case, Sodbuster knife. I think the name Sodbuster was given to these knives or this style of knives, I think back in the 1930s, if I'm not mistaken. And there you can see a machine, a tool, and this was usually pulled by an ox, uh, and it would turn up the soil, see? And so it says Sodbuster right there. Now. Sodbusters is a term that was used derogatorily in a lot of ways. Sometimes it was used derogatorily to imply that a person was not clean. And it was mainly used as a way to insult an individual back then. You know, and uh, it was not used that way by everyone. Just people who wanted to be mean and wanted to be insulting, right? But a sodbuster is a name that is associated with hard work and manual labor. Hard work and manual labor. And after all, isn't that what made America great? Yeah, hard work and manual labor. So there's a couple of different types of sod busters I want to show you. This is the standard size sod buster right here. And this one is about five inches, very close to five inches, probably four and seven eighths inches in the closed position. And that's your standard size sod buster. And then there is the sod buster junior. Let me show you that one. Isn't this a pretty little yellow one? Sodbuster Junior, which comes in at about three and one, two, three, three and four fifths. One, two, three, four, five, three and five eighths, three and five eighths uh, inches long for the Junior. And that's actually still a pretty good pocket size for the Sodbuster Junior. Now, these knives are extremely versatile. They're extremely versatile knives. Um, you can use these to cut rope. Uh, you can use these for any tasks that you might have around the ranch or around the home. Um, they're just workhorses is what they are. They're really hard working knives. And a lot of people prefer to have these. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little story. I had originally uh, bought one like this and I already have a video on one like this. I'm just a regular full size sod buster in about the same condition. Uh, and I had it, and I bought it in a pawn shop for $10. And I have this awesome AC guy. He's just the best AC guy. He would come in, and he'd do little things and not even charge me. Like, he cleaned out the, the drain pipe, the one where uh, you get all the excess fluid that comes out, and sometimes it gets all gooky and and has algae in it. And, and well, he would get in there and blow through it, blow all that stuff out the outside, and all of a sudden now my... My AC unit wouldn't freeze up because that had been freezing up. He cleaned it for free and then he didn't want to charge me. I'm like, come on. Recently, he, he turned me on to this other person who, his boss, who gave me a great deal and I bought a new AC unit. And of course, I'm going to have him install it, right? So that's almost bought and paid for already. And it's been about a year I've been making payments on that. But the last time he came, I saw he was carrying a Boker Plus Sodbuster. And uh, I thought to myself, self, maybe he would like another one as a case because he uses it as his work knife. I'm sure to help uh, cut wires, uh, anything that gets in the way, weeds, branches when he's working on AC units. You know, he uses that knife for all types of things, I'm sure, right? So I presented him with that Sodbuster that I found at the pawn shop and he accepted it gladly. Man, he was just over the moon. He was really happy and it made me feel good to give it to somebody that I know he's going to use it and I know he's going to really enjoy using it and having it. So that brought me joy and his his kindness of always going the extra mile brings me joy. So something we could share, right? So since then, guess what? I found another one in a pawn shop for $10 and I just could not pass it up, right? These things are so common. You can find them on eBay. You can probably pay between $10 and $15 and you will not find a better workhorse of a knife. How much do these things weigh? I don't know. I've never weighed one of these sod busters. Let me see. Let's turn this thing around. Let's move some stuff out of the way. Let's weigh Junior first. 
Let's weigh Sodbuster Junior. Let's see how much Junior weighs. Junior weighs 2.2 ounces. I mean, come on, talk about a lightweight. 2.2 ounces with this nice yellow plastic handle. Guys, how can you afford not to have that in your pocket for paying around 20 bucks? Got this one for 20 bucks on eBay. Um, looking at the tank stamp right here, I can see that it has the X's. It has five X's, but it's got no dots. And with that particular type of uh, cursive C on there, uh, I think that puts this at 2015. I could be mistaken, but I think 2015. Because every year they remove a dot, and then every year after that, they remove an X. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see how much Senior weighs. Senior Sawbuster weighs 3.2 ounces. So from 2.2 to 3.2. Can you imagine? It's just uh, one ounce heavier. Let's see. That makes 5.4. 3.2 to 3.2 to 3.2. That's amazing. It's just one ounce heavier. So the full size is only one ounce heavier. Wow, that, that's actually really good. It's good information to know too. So in any case, guys, I wanted to go ahead and show you this beautiful knife. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here because I already have another video out on this puppy. Um, I believe that this one, see how it still has all of its X's and dots? I think this one was from 2010. These aren't really that old, uh, and they're very plentiful, and they're easy to find. They are, they're even very inexpensive, guys. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give the gift of Sodbuster this Christmas, well, then that would be awesome, and that would be a great way to introduce a friend to Case Knives because they're very inexpensive. It's the kind of knife that you can use for many different tasks, and you just can't go wrong with it, guys. All right, guys, this has been another episode of The Knife Detector. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I got so many videos on the way. Uh, hang with me, guys, and thank you so much to all my subscribers that have been there with me from the very beginning. Thank you, my friends. God bless you.